Hi everyone, my name is Matt Rouleau. Today we're gonna to talk about the Model E alarm check valve with the E4 trim. It's gonna come segmented and we're gonna give you a quick installation video to help uh, illustrate the sequence in which you would want to install the components uh, for that sub-assembly on the trim. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, everything's gonna come shrink wrapped to a cardboard package, but I've, for, for the purposes of the video, I've already unpackaged everything. Uh, your alarm valve is gonna come separate in a box. It's gonna have plastic caps on the top and bottom. It's gonna have a cardboard tube uh, for shipping purposes. So make sure that when you re remove the cap on the top that you also remove the cardboard tube on the inside of the check valve prior to installation. The other thing this valve is gonna come equipped with is um, protected plastic caps on these four outlets, what we're gonna use for our trim side of the uh, alarm valve. So those will also have to be removed. Uh, those are just in there for the painting purposes to protect the threads. So go ahead and get started. Um, first thing what we're gonna to wanna to do is separate our parts out and kind of get them organized. And uh, part number one that we're gonna start off with is gonna be th this component or this sub-assembly. It's got a half inch, I'm sorry, uh, three quarter inch nipple that is um, it, it's two and a half inches long. Uh, that would be the 76 millimeter length. And we're gonna go ahead and install that into the very top port of the alarm valve. Well, you just put it in and turn right. All your fittings are gonna come pre-taped. So it should be minimal amount of extra labor for you on your part. You just unpack it and start screwing things together. Next, we're gonna have an identical part, but the nipple is a little bit longer. So we've got a three inch nipple here uh, on the second piece, the 76 millimeter. And that goes on the very bottom outlet. So again, the top nipple is a three quarter inch by 65 millimeter. I may have misspoke when I said it first. Uh, again, three quarter inch, two and a half inches long. 65 millimeter. Bottom is three quarter inch, three inches long, 76 millimeter. One thing to note, these two components are going to be shipped with the unions assembled because it's a match set. So be mindful, uh, the male female half of the union is gonna to have to be separated and added to our trim component, which is gonna be this segment. So the top outlet should match up with your top union. Go ahead and install that right now loosely, and we'll come back to it. Bottom union gets separated. Take the bottom half of the union, put it on the bottom port of the outlet for your alarm bypass trim. Just hand tighten that for now. We'll come back to it. Step number three is going to be our intermediate chamber port. Um, there's a four inch nipple length on this, which would be our uh, 100 millimeter. Uh, that's the part that's going to be installed into the alarm port. So the longer leg of this section of intermediate chamber trim gets installed into the valve body. The union portions obviously look out towards the back of the valve. The same will be the case for the intermediate chamber trim. You're gonna face that up towards the back of the valve. Next, we're gonna install our two inch main drain, upper assembly. This has two nipple links on it. We're going to install the five and a half inch long nipple, uh, which is gonna be 140 millimeter length nipple.
now we can install the outlet T that goes to the bottom of your main drain. And go ahead and move the handle out of the way. Next, we're going to install the alarm bypass trim. That goes on to the intermediate chamber. This will be supply up towards your retard chamber. The drain will be off the bottom. The ball valve will be facing upward. Now we can install the alarm bypass. I'm going to loosely start the unions. I'm going to go finish tightening up the female half of the union onto the pipe nipples. Now I'll finish tightening up the unions. Now we're ready to install the gauge ports into the alarm trim. These are identical setups, so it doesn't matter which goes on top or which goes on bottom. Go ahead and get those installed. I'm going to switch over to a crescent wrench, sometimes referred to as a shifter, so I don't mar up the brass. Okay, now we're ready to install the water, water gauges. Those are the only components you're going to have to tape up before you install them, or pipe seal the compound.
Now we can install the S1 retard chamber. Inside of your trim kit, you're going to have uh, instructions, uh, a nipple, a couple hose clamps, a piece of clear tubing, and the nameplate for the valve body itself. So we'll have to get into this bag, grab the nipple out of the bag for the top of the retard chamber that gets installed along with the loose T that will go for your alarm, optional alarm pressure switch and out to your water motor gong assembly. Okay, we're ready to install the drain tubing. I'm gonna place one of my retainer clips onto the end of the tubing. I'm gonna go ahead and install one half of this section so I can get a proper measurement for the length. Just gonna use a pair of scissors to cut the hose. Install the other retainer clip onto the hose. Go ahead and position the retainer clips onto the barbs with the drain fittings. I try to orientate them where somebody's not going to bump them. There's little sharp edges on the ends of the clips. Lastly, is our nameplate. It's a two-part adhesive. So there's two backings you'll have to remove prior to installing the actual nameplate. And that completes the installation.